For those of you who want to interfere or remove the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution, it turns out the next person shot may be you. Are you considering backing gun control laws? Do you think that because you may not own a gun, the rights guaranteed by the Second Amendment don't matter? Consider this. In 1929, the Soviet Union established gun control. From 1929 to 1953, approximately 20 million dissidents, unable to defend themselves, were rounded up and exterminated. In 1911, Turkey established gun control. From 1915 to 1917, 1 1.5 million Armenians, unable to defend themselves, were rounded up and exterminated. Germany established gun control in 1938. From 1939 to 1945, 13 million Jews, gypsies, homosexuals, the mentally ill, and others who were unable to defend themselves were rounded up and exterminated. China established gun control in 1935. From 1948 to 1952, 20 million political dissidents, unable to defend themselves, were rounded up and exterminated. Guatemala established gun control in 1964. From 1964 to 1981, 100,000 Mayan Indians, unable to defend themselves, were rounded up and exterminated. Uganda established gun control in 1970. From 1971 to 1979, 300,000 Christians, unable to defend themselves, were rounded up and exterminated. Cambodia established gun control in 1956. From 1975 to 1977, one million, quote, educated people, unable to defend themselves, were rounded up and exterminated. That places total victims who've lost their lives because of gun control at approximately 56 million in the last century. Since we should learn from the mistakes of history, the next time someone talks in favor of gun control, find out which group of citizens they wish to have exterminated. It has now been 12 months since gun owners in Australia were forced to surrender. 640,381 personal firearms to be destroyed. The program costing the government more than $500 million. The results, Australia-wide, homicides are up 3.2%. Assaults are up 8%. And armed robberies are up 44%. In that country's state of Victoria, homicides with firearms are up 300%. Over the previous 25 years, figures show a steady decrease in armed robberies. And Australian politicians are on the spot and at a loss to explain how no improvement in safety has been observed after such monumental effort and expense was successfully expended in ridding society of guns. It's time to state it plainly. Guns in the hands of honest citizens save lives and property. And yes, gun control laws only affect the law-abiding citizens. Take action before it's too late. Write or call your delegation. This was aired originally by Paul Harvey as a commentary. You will find the facts to be true. And I hope that those of you listening can learn from history and not do the same things that those societies have done, causing the senseless loss of so much life. This is Florentino, 
and i'm signing off.